<laughs> Wanted to give you an update. Poor Dakota. <laughs> so she hates going to the vet. So she had some sedatives. <laughs> and now she's crashed. So I'm kind of like curled up next to her with my weight, trying to get her really, really asleep so that maybe I can cut her toenails. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> she did really well though. She didn't want anyone to like look in her ears with like, um, like the scopes and stuff. But she was able to kind of get to know the vet and love on the vet. And she was out enough that, like, I was able to kind of flip her ears back. And, like, she was able to listen to her heart and whatnot. And she's in good shape. We have some allergy stuff we've got to do with her. Because she gets, like, red itchy ears and scratchy paws. So we're going to try this supplement. To see if it'll help, and we're gonna put her back on Zyrtec. And we've got some uh, medication in case she like has a, a bad flare up. Um, and then the big news is Mr. Mason, which is not that big of a news, but um, so we we got his spots looked at, and she's she poked them with a needle and they seem to be uh big fatty masses so that's good but the one spot under his uh left front leg it kind of wraps like from the back around to the front of his chest and she is the re recommending that we remove that one because it's possible it could get bigger and start interfering with uh, his ability to walk. So he is going to right now is scheduled for surgery to have that removed on Wednesday. He's not going to be a happy guy because it's actually pretty big in its location. Like, it's going to be a challenge to keep him quiet. His recovery time is going to be about two weeks. And it may be, it, we haven't decided if we're going to have her remove the two spots on the front either. Uh, I think we're, we, we're leaning towards it. But there's a, I mean, the reality is when you have pets, there's a cost to it. And we have to kind of weigh the pros and cons and the expenses. This is not a cheap endeavor. We definitely are going to remove the one underneath his leg for comfort and to make sure he has full mobility. Um, we also, she's fairly certain that it's fat, that it's greasy when she pulled it out. So I think the game plan is going to be to like take the stuff out and then we're going to kind of put it on a shelf basically and store it. She's going to, she's going to, um, store it. And then if something happens where things start growing on him again, then we'll send those samples in for a biopsy to see, okay, is this more than just fat? Is it actually cancerous? So that way we kind of have, like, we're not spending the money, but we have the option of still doing the, bi like a biop, not, uh, the testing, the lab, the lab work for it. Just to try and keep costs under, um, it, you know, I mean, it's still going to be really expensive, but um, yeah, I've got him laying on me now. They're both kind of worn out from it. So, but I'm so glad that I waited to go until today to see their normal vet because she's just so sweet and so comforting. And I felt completely calm the entire time. And, uh, for the most part, she did too. <laughs> and Mason, hi, bud. We got to get you a shirt to wear so you don't mess with the, uh, incisions. So that's going to be... And I decided to do it, um, I'm actually taking this week off 
and taking some vacation. And so this is actually a good week to do it because then I can be home. I can bring him to the appointment and then be home for like the worst part of of the recovery time to try and keep him calm. And uh, we're gonna have to lift him on the bed and try and keep him from wrestling with Dakota or vice versa because Dakota really likes to try to play with him. So I might need to tap into our other puppy dog friends uh, to bring her over for a play date or something so she leaves him alone. Because he's not going to want to take it easy. He's not. You, the, I was so happy to hear the nurse was like, I would never have known he was not almost nine, right? So that makes me feel a lot better. And we did a full workup on him. Uh, blood and, and he, they, everybody's got their vaccines now. And we're going to do fecal and urine samples for him. Uh, just to get like a good baseline for what his almost nine-year-old body is doing right now so that we can keep an eye on him and stay on top of anything that um, comes our way because the reality is he's getting older and that's going to be a challenge probably soon. So we might put him on a supplement for like to help prevent joint problems. I think we're going to do that. Um, right now he doesn't seem to have anything but... Um, I'd rather get ahead of it and keep him comfortable as long as possible. So we're all just a little tuckered out from our visit. <laughs> so yeah, that's what's going on. I'll keep you guys up to date um, with uh, how the surgery goes and how he's doing. And um, I'll give him your guys' hugs and kisses and that'll make him feel better. Alrighty, we'll let you guys get back to your day. You guys have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.